happens is accounts receivable goes up. But this is kind of the weird one right here because because now you would think it's not because now we have it in a liability account. So you would think that the unearned revenue here could be going down uh, by that amount, right? So that's where, but but we're still going to say accounts receivable is going to go up because it's, we're going to do another journal entry to kind of compensate uh, for it. So this is what's actually happening. So we're going to say the accounts receivable is going to go up and then we're going to have the sales is going to go up. The sales is going to go up because we said it was, I think, equals 175 divided by five months. And I'll make that negative. So for that amount, and then we have the sales tax payable, which we're going to imagine we have to deal with just to make things more complicated, which was at 0.0775. So this equals this times 0.0775. And then the receivable would be this. Let's say negative sum of that, right? So 71, uh, 71. So, so if I record that, now the accounts receivable is going to go up by that 3771 income is going to go up by the 35 and that liability of sales tax is going up now but but note that what this shouldn't really be going up to accounts receivable what should be happening instead is it should be going to unearned revenue bringing unearned revenue down but the invoice form usually goes to accounts receivable right so what's going to happen is we're going to end up with another journal entry to do that. Instead of just fixing it right here, we're going to do another journal entry that's going to be saying, okay, let's take the unearned revenue down and then accounts receivable is going to go back down so that we can, and then we'll be able to see it in the sub ledger as well for the accounts receivable. So now we're going to say, okay, accounts receivable is going up by that. Uh, I'm sorry, accounts receivable uh uh unearned revenue and then accounts receivable so if i record this now accounts receivable is going to go back down uh that's the wrong one <laughs> sorry and it's going to go back down and then unearned revenue is going to go down on the credit side leaving us with the five months that are still uh needed so if i so then so note, even looking at that, I've kind of added another journal entry so that I can get my sub ledgers to work. And then QuickBooks actually adds another, another basically clearing account and doing this journal entry. So that's where you get a little bit more messiness happening over here. So let's record it and see what happens. So I'm gonna say, uh, save it and close it. Is that right? Do I have everything right? Yeah, let's do it. This customer has available credits. Now I should have applied this out already, but I'm gonna say, okay, yes, apply out the credit. So here's the credit, credits available prepayments. So it's a similar process as if I had a negative receivable, uh, but now I've got these three boxes. So I'm gonna apply out the prepayments, 73, 71 of the total 188, because that's the amount of the invoice. Let's say done and then, okay, I think that's good. Hopefully that's good. And if I go back into the invoice, we can see now that the payment has been applied out. That payment isn't changing the journal entry. It's just an information information so that I can give this to the client if we needed to. The journal entry would still be affected by that 37 on the accounts receivable or decreasing unearned revenue. There's gonna be a journal entry, increase the sales 35 and this 271. Now, if you wanted to apply that out before you record it, I think you could still have gone to apply credits up top. We'll test that out again next time for the next month. Let's go ahead and close it and check it out. If I go to the balance sheet and let's see what's what's happening, what's happening over in balance area, we're going to say then there's the invoice for the 3771. See, even though it's down to zero here, it's still up going for the 3771. The invoice increase in the accounts receivable, even though it's not like decreasing the liability of unearned revenue. It's going to happen basically with a journal entry over there. So then the other side is going to go to the profit and loss, the P and the L. So profit and loss in August, there's the 35 just for the revenue side. And then back to the balance sheet, we also have then uh, the, the liability of the sales tax. So let's do the sales tax. Do, 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 do. Where is, there it is. I see it. 
I, I see it. Don't you don't have to point it out to me. I can find it myself. So there it is. And then if we go into the unearned revenue, here's the unearned revenue. What happened there? Because it went down. If I go into it and then I'm going to say, OK, so I adjusted the date up top to bring it back. Uh, and so there's the journal entry. Now, notice what it did here. It put the journal entry in as of the day that QuickBooks thinks it is right now because uh, uh, because we're working in the future. So that's why the date is messed up. But I, look, let's look at it conceptually right now. We're going to say, okay, uh, what it did is it, it then took the amount out of the unearned revenue with a journal entry. And if I go into that journal entry, I could change the date. Let's actually do that. I'm going to say, let's change the date here to make it, uh, what was it? 07, uh, 07, let's just say 1527, let's say. And then, and then I'm going to say, okay, record it. You can't edit the journal entry as it's linked to a prepayment. Okay, whatever. I'm going to close this. Okay, I don't want to do it. Restore it then, if you're going to be like that. Okay, so then, in any case, uh, the other side we went to was this, this account for prepayment transfer, which is a clearing account. So now you've got kind of another clearing account that's in the middle here. So I'm going to close that out. And then, and then if I go back on up to the accounts receivable up top, accounts receivable, we're going to say then, let's bring this back to 26, just so sort to of make sure I see the whole thing here. And wow, there's a lot going on in 26. Let's try filtering it. I'm going to customize the report filters and I'm going to filter by type uh, transaction type so we'll go down here and say we want to filter by there it is transaction type and then by journal I want to see the journal okay so there we have our journal and again it put it in there on uh, 1215 but there's the tra transaction the 3771 and it's trying to put that in the date that it thinks it is at this point in time and so so there we have that and the other side once again if i go in there is going to uh it's going to be going to that clearing account i believe so if i go into the journal entry so accounts receivable account for prepay payment transfer so i'm going to close this back out close this back out close this back out so we see that there if I look at my customer balance detail to, I can see now there's there's my customer so see I can see why they would want to do that to, to use the accounts receivable which would be this added step right here right which would be putting the invoice into accounts receivable instead of going to unearned revenue and then doing this transaction right here so that you can see it going in and out of accounts receivable so that you have the sub ledger record here. Notice what you don't see uh, in here as you did with a negative receivable. With a negative receivable, it's actually easier to see